Hey Sagittarius, Elsie here. Um, I am here to do your reading, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And uh, I am here to give you uh, a reading spring bonus, if you will, um, for the last day of March here, going into April. This is going to be probably for, for you know, about the, till at least mid-April, I would imagine, this energy. So first of all, I am going to pull a card that is the overall energy for your reading, Sagittarius. I am Sagittarius rising, so um, I will go ahead and pull a card. Oh, look at that. So we have, um, as the overall, we have lots of opportunity, which is wonderful. There's going to be lots of opportunities coming your way, Sagittarius. Lots of opportunities, um, possibly with a Scorpio, um, Pisces, or Cancer, and um this could also pose a problem because I, as a reader, also see this as confusion. Um, I'm, I'm a good decision maker for the most part, but I see a lot of people who can't make a decision to save their lives. So I hope that you are a decision maker because uh, here comes all of the opportunities you have been manifesting. All right, let's start with five cards for the recent past, a month ago, two weeks, maybe a month. We'll see. What sort of energies come up here? So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Sagittarius till around about the 15th or 20th of April. Of course, I throw cards. Okay, let me go get it. Wow. Well, we're going to throw that one back in because this makes sense. All right, here we go. Five cards. Oh, there's two. Three more cards, please. One, two, and three. Last and you shall receive. <laughs> oh, look at here. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. Someone has love in the air. Some coffee. All right, what do we got? What do we have? Wow. Wow, okay. We're going right there, are we? Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So, let me take a look here for a moment. Yeah, there's been some pain, Sagittarius. So, connections, communications. Um, you know, the worst kind to have, right? So, it, you are looking forward to coming to a place where you're going to be moving to calmer waters and ending your pain. Um, because the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords is here, but that's a lot of swords to have in one reading. So far, and we've only got five cards on the table. In fact, here we are. We've got another sword. Okay, so the way this would read here is going to calmer waters or moving away. That could very well be here. All you're taking with you is the knowledge that you have, the things that you've learned. And um, the card in the middle there, that is the uh, Ten of um swords and the ten of swords that is the end of your pain according to you know communication and connections so conversations you've had things people have said that rubbed you the wrong way you know people who have hurt you with their words it's time to let that go it's time to leave it in the past this is going to be a painful ending but i do see you as speaking your mind here so the king the king is very smart he's very knowledgeable book learned he's like a lawyer you know he's very very much about the people he's about being a spokesperson he speaks up he's very good with his words can be a little bit offensive um, can be a little bit offending only because, you know, he just speaks the truth. He is going to speak his truth. And so I think that going away um, to calmer waters, as you can see, you're going under the reading here, calmer waters after the pain ends. I think you're just going to speak your mind and just say, you know what, that was something that didn't need to go down. But um, and that is the way it is going to be. Um, conversation is a tough one. It's a tough one, guys. Um, when it comes to speaking your mind, you can hurt a lot of people with the truth. But we should always speak the truth, right? We should always live our own truth. It doesn't matter who you are, who you love, what your situationship is. You should always be who you are. Always, always. Don't hide. Don't hide who you are. Um, okay. And then, look at this. We have, um, in the current, we have um, some... Uh, we have the, the emperor and the empress. We have the mother and the father of the deck here. So we have um, you taking control 
of uh, your life. This is the card of Aries, by the way. Um, this is Aries. I do see all these swords here. <laughs> all these swords on the left here are Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. But I do see that this is the card of Aries here. So in your current energy, I see that you're looking for this soulmate. Um, that you are waiting for the empress to your emperor or your emperor to your empress um now the the emperor is here and he is the guy who's in charge he's the aries he's at the front of the line he is the um father of the deck he is the guy who has kids now i say guy because i'm looking at a male on this and and the emperor is in fact a male however females can have the emperor energy and the energy of the emperor is taking control the energy of the emperor is making sure everybody has what they need because the emperor is, you know, he runs the empire. He's at the top of the food chain, president, CEO, CFO. And he is the guy who's the, who um, makes sure that everybody has what they need. So definitely a woman could have that energy. Then I see the empress here. Everything grows under her. So I see here Aries and Taurus. Um, and I see that the, um, the empress is here she's the person who's very connected to spirit she may be pregnant maybe not um depending on her age and she is also someone who things bloom around her so she's she's always in a state of of growing of growth and she encourages others around her to grow as well as well as her emperor all right let's go to the current energies here so that's the past energies. You're thinking about um, a soulmate, thinking about speaking up to that soulmate because your pain has ended and um, you're now in a, in a calmer place, in a place where you can um, leave the words that are mean behind and that you can just be truthful moving forward. Anyone who loves you is going to allow that for you, right? All right, so we have current energy is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is uh, looking for passion, back out on um, a passionate um, excursion, looking for passion, learning about passion, because pa um, pages are young, right? So it could be someone younger than you, or you could be younger than them. Pages are young, and they're just learning. And sometimes it's really good to get your information from someone who's young. I've learned the most from my son. He's only 20, and he's taught me so much in the last 20 years. I'm not even the same person that uh, um, introduced themselves to him when he was born. <laughs> okay, so in the current energy, I show here that you are longing for some sort of stability in a relationship. Um, I see the four of the four of wands here. You can see 11, 11, and... Um, it is the four corners, right? The firm foundation of something new. So it is either a relationship or a friendship or a business, but I see passion here. So that tells me that it could be in terms of a relationship. And I'm looking at the, at the king of wands here. And I have a feeling that you are looking at a relationship with the king of wands. I don't think you've had communication with the king of wands though, because I think that the last conversation you had wasn't great. That there was a, I feel like, oh, I'm hearing false start. Um, there was a, a false start. Okay, so there's a false start. Okay, so hang on a sec. The spirit is explaining that the false start is someone, um, so I'm seeing someone who is on their knee beginning a race and the, the line is here and that person stumbles before everybody else, right? That's the false start. And so um, I feel like that this relationship that you had um, wanted to get to, <laughs> that you wanted to be in with, with um, the King of Wands, um, I feel as though it was a false start. So that's what Spirit is saying. It was a false start, which means that perhaps you didn't quite get to the love stage. You didn't get to the um, the stage where you're really attracted to each other and you can't keep your hands off each other. You didn't get to that because it was a false start. It was like it went to it went from it went from you know a really good friendship to someone that you. Um, feel very passionate about that you were attracted to all of a sudden and you, you felt very passionate about and then things went wrong and I don't think that there was any arguing but I do feel like this five of swords is about a false start so a false start and a false win so somebody feels as though they won and um, even though they feel that they've won they don't feel like they've won so it's like um 
a false positive is what I'm hearing. A false positive. Yeah, that's a really great way to put it, Spirit. So a false positive is like you really think it happened and it really didn't. So um, the uh, false positive here is followed up by the fear, the devil. So feeling like, um, oh, and I see the emperor here too. So these two came out one on top of the other. So I feel like the fear... Um, Sagittarius, that the fear of the false start involves the emperor and that the eight of pentacles is here telling me that you probably met them at work. Um, you could have met them at work or you're working really hard to get out of this energy, to get out of this energy that is fear and addiction and feeling bad about yourself, feeling bad about the false start, feeling bad that this never happened, that, that, um, you know, you got to a certain point and then it just stopped. So I feel like um, you met that person at work, though. All right. Let's look forward into the future. Let's start with four cards in the future. And we are going to ask for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Sagittarius. Sorry, you had to wait till the end, Sagis, but I can't always make Pisces wait till the end. <laughs> All right, I just do them the way that spirit tells me to do them, and so that's what I do. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Sagittarius. Whoa! And look who's dropping cards. I bet you're shocked. It's my shock face. Okay, so first of all, let me just see what's on the table here. This one, two, three. Oh, there's five on the table. Cool. Okay, so I took four of the five, and I'm going to pick up the rest because they're all face up here, and I'm going to put them back in the deck. We don't need them. At least not right now. So what we ended up with on the bottom of the deck? Reciprocity. Six of Pentacles. So that's what you're looking for, really. You're just looking for reciprocity and some sort of a relationship. I feel like this has to do with love, Sagittarius. Um, going into the future, though, I don't know if you're into marriage. <laughs> But um, here we go. Um, this is this could be corporation, of course. This could be a job, corporation. This could be love. Um, this could be clergy. This could be someone who is in authority, someone who is a therapist. And I think that is coming to an end. So I have a feeling that the person, your emperor, I'm going to say, I feel like it's between either the emperor or the king of wands. He's either the emperor or the king, but I feel as though he's a fire sign. I feel like it's an Aries, and I don't know why. I feel like it's another fire sign, but I feel like um, we have um, the death of a marriage. Yeah, I think that, and, and I don't want you to feel bad about it, Sagittarius, because if things are going to end, things are going to end. You don't have any control over that. You don't. This is a major arcana card. And when the universe says that it's over, it's done. So if you have a relationship that you're just trying to just like, you know, breathe life back into, if it's done, it's done. Ask the universe. It's done. So here I see the breakup of a marriage. The death of marriage is what I see. So I think, Sagittarius, that you're waiting for someone um, who is who is exiting their um, their marriage or their common law relationship, whatever it was, their union. And now you have to make a choice because in the meantime, I think this person, as they were getting ready, the emperor is getting ready to end this relationship here. This, um, I feel like you met somebody who you feel is your soulmate. And now you have to pick between two. Isn't that the way it happens? So there you were thinking, okay, fine. You know what? This isn't going to happen with the person I thought who was my soulmate. So now I'm going to keep moving and I'm just going to keep taking care of me and doing the things, the day-to-days and, you know, doing my job and all the things. And then I'm just going to transform. I'm going to transform and take care of me. And in the meantime, you start attracting people, right? These people are coming left, right, and center. All these opportunities are coming at you one at a time. And it's hard to say no to every one of them. So you've gone ahead and said yes to one of them. And now you have to make a choice between the two soulmates. Heavy stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, for three more cards, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, uh, for the sign of Sagittarius, till about the middle of April, I guess, ish, 20th of April, 
something like that. I'm still going to do your April readings, guys. I'm just getting out a bonus, a spring bonus for you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person, your person, was in a third party. So Page of Cups is here and bringing in love. Someone is bringing in love for you, Sagittarius. And I feel like, yeah, your soulmate person who you were waiting for it was in a third party. And they're just getting out of that third party now. So your heart was broken because um, you thought, you know, I, I don't have a chance. I'm done. You know, this person's married. They're staying in their marriage. And I'm just going to be okay about it. I'm going to be okay about it because I know that, what do I know? Tell me spirit. I just hear some chattering. Sorry guys. I'm just listening. Hmm. Okay. So what I do know is this is your card. First of all, Spirit is reminding me this is the card of Sagittarius. You are about balance. So not being hot, not being cold, being warm and in between. So when you heard that this was a third party that was going to come to an end, you're probably happy. And I'm not going to hold that against you. And nobody should because it had nothing to do with you. It had nothing to do with you. This person, your person, put you in a third party and you didn't know it, or maybe you did, but you'd kept your distance. You stayed away and you kept your distance. You waited for love and um, here it comes. I need three more cards, but we'll just take two to start with. Two more cards to start with. All right bottom of the deck we have the queen of um the queen of wands now that being said there are two soulmate connections here so i have the queen of wands well i mean the queen of wands is under the deck she isn't in your reading but we also have a king of wands here so um the last three cards that i got for your reading first of all is that things are going to start moving quick from here so you're going to get in your vehicle you're going to go to the person that you need to see and you're going to let them know that after they finished healing that you're going to be here for them and that person will then become single so you are waiting on your person who could be taurus capricorn or um taurus capricorn or virgo you could also be waiting on your person who is aries could be the emperor um taurus who could be the empress um we are looking at scorpio here and we're looking at Taurus again. So it could be an earth sign for sure. Could be a water sign. We have a lot of, of um, we have a lot of swords that begin this reading, but then we move down and we only see one swords. The rest is about passion. It's about action. It's about wands. So um, I have a feeling that this isn't going to last much longer, Sagittarius. I hope that was a good reading for you. If it did resonate or even if it didn't, please leave me a message. And um, if you would like to subscribe, there is a subscription button down below. Um, you know, you're just going to love these people here because they are really wonderful. Um, if you require a reading for your own energies, please email me at lc at 10 of cups tarot. All my pricing is down below. Uh, and um, March 31st, if you booked by that day, um, you will be getting the... Uh, or even if I got an email from you from the 31st, then you are the person who is going to be able to get your one hour reading for $70, $45 for your 30 minute reading. And that's it, Sagittarius. Um, Sagis, I hope you're having a good day. I hope everyone's well where you are. I hope everyone's practicing social distancing and staying um, home. If you ha don't have to go out, please don't go out. And uh, this is all I have for you. So forward we go. We move forward into April. I will be back.